Hello, welcome to Inkyway. Today we are going to show you how to set printing types and pricing for your customizable product. So let's get started. From our previous video, you have already know how to set product sizes. So now we will set printing types and pricing for our current product. Here, as we can see, there are some pre-created printing types and DTG is selected when we create a new product the first one will be selected by default here as we are going to create a new printing types let's say screen print t-shirt so we need to click on add or edit printing types then we'll click add printing types but before going to click on add printing types if you want to add or modify any available printing types just click on the pen icon here and if you want to duplicate that one then click on the duplicate button and if you want to delete any existing one just click on the trash button so let me show you how to create a printing type from scratch click on add printing types so let's provide a name let's say t-shirt print print now this is the basic present tab and we have some other tabs to set price by different elements this is the basic pricing and under basic pricing you can set a setup fee let's say we want to charge ten dollars for setup fee now if you want to charge this setup fee for every single color simply click on yes as right now we don't want to charge setup fee for each color we'll simply put it in the no now we need to give a number above which the setup fee will not be charged let's say we want to charge our setup fee under 150 pieces and if the quantity exceeds the 150 pieces then the setup fee will be zero next the text initial price if we want to charge our customers for inserting a text, we will simply add our desired price, let's say $1. And if we want our customers to be charged extra for graphics, regardless of clipboard or their own upload, we can add our desired price here, let's say $1.5. Now, if the customer input a text, only then this will be charged for the text and if the customer uploads own graphics or use clippers then 1.5 dollar will be charged now for text and graphics initial price it is a combo if we set it to zero then if the customer inputs both text and graphics no price will be charged so if we want to charge customers for both text and graphics in a single product then we need to set our charge here let's say $2.5 and now if the customer use only text the customer will be charged $1 if the customer uses graphics then will be charged $1.5 and if the customer uses both then the customer will be charged $2.5 now if we want to charge extra for full color photo upload by a customer we can charge it from here and if we want to charge our customers by each characters used in the text we can do it from here and if we want our customers to be charged by name and number we can do it as well from here and if you want to charge extra for per square inch design you can put your price here right now I don't want to charge extra for per square inch so I'll let it be zero now let's go to printing colors tab here you can choose printing colors and your customers will be able to select those color for printing let's see what we got here first you can activate an advanced color palette which will let your customers choose 
any color from the palette for this you need to select yes but right now I will let it be selected as no then the color blending option if you want the design to be blend with the product for better viewing you can click yes now here we can add or delete our preferred printing colors now let's create some colors that we want to offer to our customers here by default two colors will be created one is white and other one is black we can easily remove any color by clicking on the red trash icon right now I want to keep both and we'll add three more colors let's click on add new color you see here is a color name text field and the color value text field now you can either manually input the color name and the hex code for color or you can simply click on the eyedropper and then select any of the color that you want to offer to your customers let's say I want to offer line so click here see the hex code and the name has already changed automatically let's create two more colors now let's say you want to charge extra for a particular color line simply go to the added price section and input your price let's say I want to charge one dollar for lime color now if you want to add texture instead of color you can also do that for this you need to go to the texture section and click yes here you will find an option to upload your texture just click here and input the texture file right now I don't want to add any texture here so I'll just delete it now let's go back to our printing color tab and let's click on price by color tab here you will be able to define the maximum number of colors you want your customers to use for printing let's say four colors now an automated price table with product quantity will be generated now I will choose the quantity range for which I want to charge as I will let's say one dollar for one color two dollars for two colors three dollars for three colors and four dollars for four colors now I want to add another range which is from 11 to 20 for this I want to charge let's say one dollar for 11 to 20 pieces for single color 2.5 dollars for two colors 3.2 dollars for three colors and five dollars for four colors now if you want to delete any range you can just simply click on the red trash icon and the range will be deleted right now I want to keep both of this so I'll just keep in now if you want to set different prices for different sides then you can click yes and price table for different size will be generated just by copying this one and you'll need to put prices manually right now I don't want to charge differently for different size so I'll keep it as no now we have set the price by color so let's go to the price by size range here you can set price by the design size so let's click on add new size range by default it will create 5 into 5 matrix it will allow you to charge differently for light color and dark color let's say I want to charge 
for 1 to 10 pieces with light color one dollar and for dark color two dollars if you want to add another one just will click on add new range and then add what one to charge that's a two and three if you want to delete any of the range just click on the red trash icon now if you want to charge differently for different sites as I have shown in the previous section just click on yes here and the table will be created and you will need to set prices manually right now I don't want to create that one now if you, you want to change the size matrix simply click here and put the size here also if you want to add another matrix just simply click here on the plus icon see the matrix is created for now I don't want to create any other matrix so I'll just delete it now let's go to the restrictions from here you can set the minimum product quantity that your customers need to order let's say I want customers to order minimum two pieces of this shirt so I'll put here two and if you want to add any filter for all of your customers uploaded images you can set from here right now I don't want to set any filter so I'll leave it as it is and we'll click on save this is how you set printing types and pricing for your customers that's all for now see you in the next video